<laughs> Welcome to today's 3D print. Quickie update, progress report, what all my printers are doing. The Ender 2 up here is busy printing out Albert Einstein. And it's looking fantastic. I know there's errors, but I'm living with those errors to avoid infill. The 200 millimeter cube is done and it looks absolutely amazing. Very cool. You can see it's a true vase print. See? It's actually a vase print. It's very cool. Um, 400 millimeter cube coming in a couple weeks. Oh, well, maybe three or four weeks because I got a whole bunch of other prints in front of it. Second half of the moon is almost done. We are currently at 77 and a half hours. I figure it's got another six or seven hours to go at least to finish off the moon. The ANA E10 here is printing out clips. Clips for what? For a jack o' lantern. A really, really big jack o' lantern. The CR10 Escar Grumpy last night jammed up on me really good. So I replaced the PTFE tube since I had to unjam it. I figured I might as well put in the new higher temperature tube. So that is now got the new Capricorn 340 centigrade tube in it. It's super easy. I, I, I didn't realize it was so easy. I'd have done them all sooner. So I'll be upgrading all my printers with this high temp tube if this works out well. This is a Mega Man helmet. And then down here, this is the Mega Man blaster. That's right. Something I can actually hold. This, I'm not so sure if it's going to fit my head. I'm pretty sure the inside will fit my head, but I don't know if that bottom opening will fit my head. It's seven and a half inches across, and I'm pretty sure I need about eight and a half inches to get over my big fat head. So I might have to reprint this on the S4. This is printing one of the faces. This will be the traditional plain face with nothing on it for the jack-o'-lantern. That's how big the face of the jack-o'-lantern is going to be. The actual jack-o'-lantern is going to be a 300% upscale of the snap face jack-o'-lantern that you can find on Thingiverse. That's going to be a 73 hour print on the S4 and that is what the next print will be after I finish the moon. That's it for now. You guys have a great night. Ooh, coming next week, Anycubic R3 Mega. That's it for the today's quickie update. I hope you guys enjoy it. My Maker Geek Box came in. Oh yeah, I love getting filament. And I got two new filaments. They're crystal green, which is very beautiful. Wait until you see the first print I made using this. I'm also going to use this to print the stem of the pumpkin. And then they have one called Hot White. Very cool. It's actually a vibrant white, like it really pops. And this is what I'm printing Einstein in. So more to come. You guys have a great day.